With Black Friday savings at the Home Depot, you'll find top brand kitchen appliances with innovative features that can do more so your holidays can be more. Ovens with built-in air fryers for baking the perfect cookies. Dishwashers with smart tech to clean everything from bakeware to festive mugs and high-capacity refrigerators to keep leftovers fresh. Shop Black Friday savings and get up to 30% off, plus instantly save up to $750 on select GE kitchen packages at the Home Depot. How doers get more done. Offer valid November 2nd through November 30th. U.S. only. See store or online for details. The Venture X card from Capital One gives you more of what you love, like premium travel benefits and access to Taylor Swift tickets. Oh, I do love her. Earn five times miles on flights and ten times miles on hotels through Capital One Travel. Enjoy your stay in Suite 13. Whoa, 13? That's Taylor's lucky number. Plus, get access to Taylor Swift The Eras Tour, presented by Capital One. Maybe I'll see you there. The Venture X card from Capital One. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com for details. World Cup gets underway yesterday. I actually uh, watched about 15 minutes of the U.S. taking on uh, Wales. I saw the U.S. goal. That was a pretty goal. The black guy scored it. I don't know anything. I just saw some guy whose last name begins with P. Kind of like split the defense on a nice feed and then found black guy who came in. Uh, the, the goalie for Wales was like seven foot five and he went down trying to, and he didn't have a chance. He had no fucking chance. And, uh, he looked like a wounded fucking gazelle, that goalie. And then U S black guy puts it in first U S goal in like forever in the world cup. I guess last, last world cup, they didn't even make it. The fucking assholes didn't even make it. So it's been like eight years since the U.S. scored a goal. Nice little Sally on the goal doing the little knee slide. Is that artificial surface there uh, in uh, Qatar or Qatar? What do you like to say, Qatar or Qatar? If that's artificial surface, you'd think that that would uh, hurt your knee. You get a little like rug burn going on there. So now that the uh, the World Cup has started, uh, no one gives a shit now about any of the human rights. It doesn't matter now. No one cares. Uh, no beer sales at the venues. The government of Qatar did a last second. Well, hold on. No beer. They like uh, pulled the plug on that. It is against their Islamic beliefs. There is one zone, though. It's like the beer zone. It's like a beer garden. So everybody's like fucking fighting to get in there and drink beer, but you can't sit, have a beer, and watch the game. It's always weird to me that they'll go ahead and they'll cut off a woman's head if she's not dressed right. Uh, Well, I guess it it makes sense. If they're that strict, obviously. And then uh, 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 even thinking about allowing beer would be ridiculous. So it makes sense that they would be so strict about that shit. What a fucked up scenario that is. Um, So the U.S., though, uh, Wales scores a goal on, I believe, a PK. I missed that, and they end up uh, uh, getting a draw in that game, which, you know, the U.S. hasn't exactly, U.S. men's team hasn't exactly uh, uh, had any uh, any success. But uh, for the, so for them to get a draw, I guess that's a, that's a victory. It is not turf. It is actually uh, grass there. The luxury boxes still have beer, Chris writes. I have no idea when the U.S. plays again. They should play daily. I don't know why it has to be so much time in between games. I was like, oh, my God. Well, that takes a lot out of you to play soccer. The fuck it does. Are you crazy? It's just jogging with bouts of sprinting for short periods of time. It's like standing around for 90 minutes. That's bullshit. They should play like a double header. They play Friday against England. 2 p.m. I will be watching. Uh, But I actually had something I wanted to talk about. Oh, okay. As the games are getting started, uh, they had kind of like an opening ceremony. Like if you, if you see here, uh, in this clip here, audio check, video check. 
right here. You can see like all the, uh, they got the big emblems on the field for these two nations. And I'm pretty sure the person in question here that we're going to be talking about is from the nation of Qatar, the host nation. And I don't know if this guy's a player or a coach. He looks to be pretty athletic. But you you can see right away, this guy looks like a fucking alien. He's got a, a oddly shaped long face with uh, fucked up teeth. His teeth are so fucked up. If Freddie Mercury were alive today, he'd say, man, that guy's teeth are fucked. So Fox, uh, Fox sports, uh, was panning. Yeah. This is a guy who plays for Qatar, Hassan Al, Al, Al Hados. And, uh, it was all silence. The announcers did not know that they were back yet. There's the guy that we featured a clip of yesterday, the guy who runs FIFA, that crook. Um, The announcers don't know that the mic is live, and they see the dude from Qatar who looks like he's got a giant set of fake donkey teeth in his mouth. The announcer doesn't know that it's live, and listen to what he says. Hold on, let me make sure I got audio check, video check, because I don't want to fuck this up. I do? Okay, good. Everybody's, like, pumped. Nice tea. <laughs> the announcer says nice teeth. Guy's got a massive bite. Wow. Nice teeth. We take you live inside the tunnel. And then, and then the announcer just picks it up. And, oh, yeah, okay, now it's time to start talking. Stadium, Ecuador, and the host nation, Qatar. Ecuador, Ecuador getting set to take on Qatar. You may have just heard someone say nice teeth. Set to kick this off. All three of you have been in World Cup tunnels. But Lex, you're the only one who's been in the tunnel. I like how uh, some of these guys from Qatar are clearly not from Qatar, you know? Of a home host country. What is going through the hearts and the minds of these men right now? God, that was fantastic. Nice teeth. Are you kidding me? Holy shit. With Black Friday savings at the Home Depot, you can get top brand laundry sets with the latest tech to tackle any mess you might face this holiday. Like automatic fabric and load size detection for spills of any size, from cookies and milk on your favorite holiday sweater, to the toddler of the house discovering just how fun cranberry sauce can be. Make more magic this holiday season. Let your new appliances handle the mess. Shop Black Friday savings and get up to 30% off, plus instantly save up to 750 on select LG laundry sets at the Home Depot. How doers get more done. Offer valid November 2nd through 30th. U.S. only. See store or online for details. Peloton's best offer of the season is here. Get up to $300 off accessories when you purchase a Peloton bike, Bike Plus, or Tread. Choose from a variety of accessories, like our cycling shoes, a heart rate monitor, non-slip grip dumbbells, and more. If you've been looking for a sign to join Peloton, this offer gives you everything you need to get going. This limited time offer ends November 28th. Visit OnePeloton.com to learn more. All access membership separate. Offer starts November 14th and ends November 28th. Cannot be combined with other offers. See additional terms at OnePeloton.com. The Venture X Card from Capital One gives you more of what you love, like premium travel benefits and access to Taylor Swift tickets. Oh, I do love her. Earn five times miles on flights and 10 times miles on hotels through Capital One Travel. Enjoy your stay in Suite 13. Whoa, 13? That's Taylor's lucky number. Plus, get access to Taylor Swift The Eras Tour, presented by Capital One. Maybe I'll see you there. The Venture X Card from Capital One. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com for details. Uh, a little bit more to that. Uh, it's all mums a word at this point after that comment. That's the type of comment that someone makes and then like loses their job. Uh, this article from Awful Announcing says, while Fox Sports has been condemned for what they're not saying about the controversial FIFA World Cup taking place in Qatar, what the fuck do you want them to say? Again, you've had 12 years, the world has had 12 years to look at and say their piece 
about this World Cup. Why, at 30 minutes before the game start, uh, would you be expecting some grand statement by the host network to condemn them? No, bullshit. Everybody had their chances to condemn it. Anyone who's talking about it now is only doing it because it's a hot topic and it drives ratings. Oh, my God. 6,500 people have died making these venues. Yeah, right. And uh, the first one died probably uh, one minute after the fucking announcement was made that Qatar would be hosting, and no one said shit. Jesus. So, uh, awful announcing is taking the stance that uh, Fox Sports should have uh, should have made it a... They should be taking a stand against the World Cup. Um, Rob Stone and Nee Aluko Clint Dempsey. Wow, why do I know that name? Wasn't he a goalie for the U.S. years ago? Clint Dempsey. Am I getting that right, you soccer buffs? And Alexi Lawless. I know that. A famous red-headed American player uh, from way back when hosting the opening ceremony. Uh, awful announcing rights, although they shamelessly chose not to comment on Qatar's deplorable labor abuses and human rights violations. One announcer was heard commenting on an athlete's teeth. Uh, this person, right. Or this, um, com, this person wrote the article from awful announcing ads. I don't want to speculate on the intent behind the nice teeth comment. Well, I will. His teeth were outrageously massive. And so he was being hilarious. And we need to applaud that type of commentary. I would love if we watched a TV broadcast where you saw some guy with giant teeth and someone said, yeah, nice teeth, and then expanded on it. Now that would be a reason to watch. Uh, but we can at least speculate on where it came from. The two biggest candidates for who may have said <laughs> nice teeth would appear to be former American soccer players, Clint Dempsey and or Lawless. But considering it was just two words, it's hard to definitively determine the voice behind the comment. <laughs> nice teeth. <laughs> Fuck. Holy shit. They were super white, white, and uh, and they and he said they were nice. And Clint Dempsey, Eric, uh, was a forward, says Rob. Why did I think he was a goalie? What the fuck? Uh, Chris describes all of this outrage over the Olympics, not the Olympics, the World Cup, is uh, that old term virtue signaling. Virtue signaling when the world is listening. Yes, yes. It's like you didn't say shit for more than a decade. Don't act like you care now, asshole. Rob writes, wow. Cons uh, concerning the nice teeth comment, I didn't know the announcer knew Lonely Nick's wife. Whether it's Kroger Simple Truth Turkey or Mac and Cheese with Murray's English Cheddar or pie made with fresh Cosmic Crisp apples, there are many dishes we look forward to sharing during the holidays. And Kroger has all the fresh ingredients you need to turn today's holidays into tomorrow's memories. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Choose from a great selection of digital coupons and use them up to five times in one transaction. Check our app for details. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Peloton's best offer of the season is here. Get up to $300 off accessories when you purchase a Peloton bike, Bike Plus, or Tread. Choose from a variety of accessories, like our cycling shoes, a heart rate monitor, non-slip grip dumbbells, and more. If you've been looking for a sign to join Peloton, this offer gives you everything you need to get going. This limited time offer ends November 28th. Visit OnePeloton.com to learn more. All access membership separate. Offer starts November 14th and ends November 28th. Cannot be combined with other offers. See additional terms at OnePeloton.com.